Okay, so let's look at test your learning two. So what we want to do is to write a function that accepts a value, and this value represents the number of cents. Okay, and what we want is for a function to return how many quarters are there after we have removed all dollars. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I give 125 cents to my function, well, 100 cents is a dollar, so we would only end up with one quarter. Likewise, if we have 275 cents, um, that's two dollars and three quarters. So it should return three. If we give it 24 cents, then there are no quarters. And if I give it 299 cents, well, it should still return three quarters. Okay, so my function should be named how many quarters. It accepts uh, a number of cents. And what we really need to do, we need to first determine how many dollars there are in the number of cents. And once we have that, then we can separate that. And what remains should be uh, on the cents where we cannot take out any more dollars. And so using that cents, so that remainder, we should now be able to see or find how many quarters we can take out of those remaining cents. Okay, so let's see what you come up with. And in the next video, uh, we will look at the solution. Now, in my test code, all I did was to put what the solution should be and compare that with what the function returns. So if I print, if you notice here, uh, when I tested, it gave me all true, okay? And so if our function works, it should give, it should give us all true. Okay, so I will see you in the next video where we look at the solution. See you then.